it, that's definitely a lymph node, and I'm assuming you got it out of the right place, yeah. right? Yep, that's correct. Okay. Wildlife technicians are training with regional biologists at the Department of Natural Resources in Rhinelander, learning how to spot signs of chronic wasting disease in deer. It's, it's an interesting process. You, you cut open the um, down here and uh, look for the lymph nodes. You figure, you know, we're, we're learning where to, where to cut and where to, what to look for. These technicians are dissecting deer heads and looking for swelling or any abnormality in the lymph nodes. Scientists say this is one sign of the presence of CWD because the fatal deer disease affects a deer's nervous system. By doing these checks, they are making sure the northern Wisconsin herd stays healthy. In Wisconsin, uh, deer hunting is a, a tremendous sport and we certainly want a healthy deer population. It's in everybody's best interest to have a healthy deer population and sport hunting would change in Wisconsin drastically if indeed we have a high incidence of diseased deer. According to DNR biologists, up to 10% of deer in parts of southern Wisconsin are affected with this disease. So far in northern Wisconsin, there are no cases of the disease, but that's why experts say it's important to keep a health check on the herd. It's just like going to a doctor. You gotta get a checkup every few years. Can you imagine uh, sometime in the future, 25 years or 50 years from now, if one in every 10 deer in the state is a diseased deer. We don't want that, so we want to make every effort to prevent the disease from spreading in Wisconsin and much less here in northern Wisconsin. Wildlife experts say by keeping up these health checks, they can track the disease and hopefully control it so it doesn't reach the deer here in the north woods. One, two, three, four, and its fifth tooth isn't even quite erupted yet. So, Jenny Mulkowski, Newswatch 12 Today, Rhinelander.